Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to discuss CCNA version 7 packet tracer activity troubleshoot a third channel. Before coming with this activity, friends, if you like to get any project support or CCNA online classes, you can contact our team using our website. Link you will get from the description below. And also, if you like to get these type of technical videos in future, consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to enable that bell icon near the subscribe button so that you will get notification message whenever we upload a new video. Now, back to our packet tracer activity. Here, we can see the objectives. In part 1, examine the physical layer and correct switch port mode issues. In part 2, identify and correct port channel assignment issues. Then, finally, in part 3, identify and correct port channel protocol issues. Here, coming to the background, a junior technician recently configured four switches. Users are complaining that the network is running slowly and they would like you to investigate. And here we can see the details, channel group, uh, it, its ports, then protocol used. Also, we can see device table. And here we can see the group and its ports. So just we'll go to the instructions. Coming to part 1, examine the physical layer and correct switch port mode issues. Okay, we will do it one by one. Coming to step 1, I look for access ports. Examine the switches. When two or more redundant links connect the same switches, spanning tree protocol will only put one port in forwarding mode to prevent switching loops. You can see this in a pack tracer. When physical ports are assigned to an third channel port, they behave as one logical port. Each pair will either be operational or down. Yes, as they specified, when physical ports are assigned to an third channel port, they behave as one logical port. That's right. And each pair will either be operational or down. So in this topology, we can see uh, this uh, link from S1 to S3. Uh, we can see this uh, G0 slash 1 is in green, but we can see in G0 slash 2, one side shows amber. So anyways, we will uh, find the problems one by one. We will go to step 2. Verify ports are in trunk mode. Verify that all physical ports in the topology are configured as uh, trunks. Correct any ports that are in access mode. Okay, we will do this first. Just I will go through B also. Uh, correct any other channel ports that are not configured as a trunks. Okay. So first one we have seen. Uh, correct any ports that are in access mode. Then here. Correct any other channel ports that are not configured as a trunks. Okay. Uh, we will uh, do it uh, together because we will go one by one. Uh, each switch. And we will identify uh, these problems. And we will correct it. Right, first of all, we will go to S1 and we will do that. We will verify uh, all the uh, ports. Uh, are they in uh, trunk mode or in uh, access mode? Okay, so we'll go to S1 and before that, here we can see uh, all the ports G0 slash 1, G0 slash 2. Uh, this is FA0 slash 23, 24, and here we have FA0 slash 21 and 22. Even we can verify these ports from our uh, table. Uh, device table here we can see s1 uh, so groups are 1 3 and 5 and we can see the ports uh, g0 slash 1 g0 slash 2 uh, 23 24 21 22 okay just we'll verify these ports we'll go to s1 cli enable we will give the command show interface first of all we will go to fa0 slash 21 as a switch port So here we can see trunking on. Operational mode is trunk. Okay. Next we'll just press up arrow, then we can go to uh, 0 slash 22. And uh, here we can see mode is a uh, trunk. Again, press up arrow, then we'll go to 23. We can edit here itself. 23. Then uh, here we can see it's uh, operational mode is a uh, trunk. Okay. 
press up arrow again we'll go to 24 just we'll verify those ports okay so operational mode is a trunk again press up arrow now we'll go to g0 slash 1 gigabit ethernet uh, 0 slash 1 mm, here we can see operational mode is a trunk okay now we'll go to g0 slash 2 okay and we can see operational mode and administrative mode trunk yeah so there is no problem with the uh, ports now we will verify uh, port channels are in trunk or not here we can see in s1 we have these groups 1 3 and 5 so we can verify that using the show command show uh, interfaces trunk okay and here we can see the information we can see port port channel 3 and 5 only okay but here we cannot see this uh, group 1 it's not trunking okay mode is on encapsulation status and one here so we have to uh, give this port channel 1 as a trunk so this is the one problem we identified in s1 and uh, this is the problem from this uh, b correct any uh, third channel ports that are not configured as a trunk so here we have seen this port port channel 1 is not configured as a trunk so we can do that here configure terminal we will go to that interface that is a uh, uh, port channel right it's a uh, port dash channel one so we have to give a switch port mode as a trunk see even we have to verify uh, these groups are created with its correct ports or not Anyways, uh, they will be giving that instructions uh, um, ahead and we will verify that later. Okay, just I will end here. And again, we will give a show interfaces trunk command. And we can see still that port channel 1 is not available, maybe not configured. Okay, anyways, we will do that later. Now we will go to S2 and we will verify. CLA before coming to this uh, here we can see the ports okay better we'll go to the table uh, yes 2 we can see uh, FS0 slash 21 22 23 and 24 then we have a G0 slash 1 and G0 slash 2 okay coming to S2 so enable show interface we'll go to FS0 slash 21 first switch port and we will see its operational mode it should be trunk right but we can see it's in a static access okay so we have to make to trunk we will uh, try now fa0 slash 23 sorry 22 will go and here we can see this is also in static access okay press up arrow then uh, go to 23 this is also in a static access press up arrow we will go to slash 24 this is also in static access okay press up arrow now we'll go to g0 slash 1 and g0 slash 2 g0 slash 1 first and we can see it's in static access okay so we have to do all these ports i think so g0 slash 2 static access okay that means we have to give uh, all these ports as a trunk and we can see all these ports now uh, in a static access okay uh, so that's where they're told to verify that all physical ports are in the topology are configured as a trunk and we have to correct uh, if when these ports are in access mode so all these ports now are in access modes so we have to uh, change it to uh, trunking we will do that configure a terminal we will go to those interfaces as a range because we have to go to all those interfaces right fa0 slash uh, 21 22 23 and 24 so we can give 0 slash 21 dash 24 then comma also we have 
gigabit so g0 slash 1 uh, dash 2 that means a gigabit atherent 0 slash 1 and a gigabit atherent 0 slash 2 then press enter now we have to give this command as uh, to port a modus trunk then press enter we will give end and we can verify any one port uh, just to press up arrow you will go to uh, show interface g0 slash 2 switch port and we can verify its mode we can see now it's uh, trunking okay now we will verify this uh, a third channel right and here we can see it's a uh, 2 3 and 6 so just we'll verify that press enter or space we'll give the command show uh, we can give uh, interface a uh, trunk right here in this result we can see uh, port channel 2 and port channel 3 the configured as a trunking okay and uh, here we can see we have this support channel 6 also and which is not there uh, in this uh, result okay even we have to verify our ether channel just i will give a ether channel command here show ether channel summary so just uh, we want to see this anyways we'll verify all this and here we can see this ether channel group 6 so uh, uh, we have seen here in this uh, trunk that uh, port channel 6 is uh, uh, not added in this uh, not added as a trunk right so we can add that i will go to configure a terminal we will go to that interface that is a port channel port just i press the tab button okay so that it will complete that uh, command port channel it's 6 so we can give a switch port mode as a trunk and press enter okay right next we will go to this s3 and we will verify it coming to our device table here we can see uh, the ports fa0 slash 21 22 23 24 then a g0 slash 1 and g0 slash 2 and here we can see uh, these uh, groups 1 4 and uh, 6 okay just we'll go to s3 cla enable uh, here we will verify any one port will go for uh, fa0 slash 24 okay uh, show interface fa0 slash 24 switch port okay it's a trunking also we will give the command show interface trunk and we can see uh, no port channel configured as a trunk so here we like to give a show uh, a third channel summary and we can see these uh, groups 1 4 and 6 in s3 s3 1 4 6 1 4 6 okay and also we can see these ports uh, here we can see it shows i i means it's a standalone that means so there are some problems with the configuration of a port channel also anyways we will see that it's coming down so now we will go to s4 and we will verify it all the physical ports and uh, port channel enable will give a show interfaces just i press uh, uh, i n t e r then a tab button okay don't confuse with these uh, shortcuts or if we, just we can give i n t then tab or you can fully type it show interfaces f a uh, we will give a 0 slash 24 switch port and uh, we can see it's uh, trunking okay also we'll give the show command show interface as a trunk and we can see these ports are trunking i mean these port channels are trunking two and four in s4 but we have a two four and five 
okay we have to verify all these uh, groups uh, in these uh, switches with its ports we will go to the next instruction and uh, we will uh, check it part two identify and correct port channel assignment issues yes so we will do this step one examine port channel assignments the packet tracer topology and the port channel and device tables provide details about the physical ports and their ether channel assignments use the show ether channel summary command to learn how the ether channel links are configured verify that uh, the switches are configured as shown in the documentation yes we will do this and after uh, examining this port channel uh, we have to correct these port channel assignments if identified any problem so correct any switch ports that are not assigned to the correct third channel port okay so coming to our uh, device table here we can see the details or even we can see in a port channel table i think better we will use this port channel table and we can do it one by one so first of all we will go to this uh, channel group one and we can see in our topology channel uh, port channel 1 uh, which is in between s1 and s3 but here we can see this port channel table they given incorrectly uh, see channel group 1 um, ports g0 slash 1 g0 slash 2 in s1 that is correct here we can see that port but we can see that ports are connecting to this uh, s3 right not to s2 they given us s2 g0 slash 1 g0 slash 2 no it's wrong so it's connecting to s3 i think we'll go to device a table and here we can see that s1 group 1 and we can see it's a g0 slash 1 g0 slash 2 it's correct then we can see group 1 uh, in s3 yeah that's correct g0 slash 1 g0 slash 2 so we will verify that we'll go to s1 enable and we will give the command to show the third channel summary and here we can see uh, group 1 okay port channel 1 and the protocol is LACP okay and the ports are uh, gigabit third and 0 slash 1 and gigabit third and 0 slash 2 yeah it's right so now we will go to S3 and we will verify it. CLI. I think already we given that command. So configure. Sorry. We will give a show. A third channel summary. And here we can see. Uh, port channel 1 protocol see they configured incorrectly they given PAGP so it's incorrect the other side they given LACP and this side they given PAGP it should be LACP so we have to reconfigure it and we can see those ports G0 slash 1 and G0 slash 2 it's correct so here we have to change this protocol we will correct this problem okay uh, so we will go to those interfaces g0 slash 1 and g0 slash 2 configure terminal we will go to those interface as a range that is a g0 slash 1 dash 2 and we will give uh, no uh, channel group so we have to give a no channel group okay then we will give channel group space i will put a question mark so we have to specify the channel number group number it's one then again i will put a question mark then we have to specify the mode we will give active we will put a question mark so that we can see active for enable lacp and conditionally okay so we can give active okay now we will give end and we will give a show a third channel summary and here we can see a uh, group one port channel we can see it's a uh, su okay and we can see still it shows a pagp okay g0 slash 1 p 
g0 slash 2p just i like to see and we can see it shows in port channel okay but this protocol are not changed but we made the protocol lacp correct so for that uh, uh, we, uh, we will try once more uh, what we will do configure terminal we will go to those interfaces as a range it's a g0 slash 1 dash 2 uh, but we will give uh, we will give a no uh, it's a, a port channel right so we'll give that okay oh it's not working uh, i think it's a not uh, not no what is that uh, port channel it's a channel group so fully confused no worry so we have to give a no channel group okay okay now what we will do we will shut down these interfaces okay then we are going to create this uh, channel group we'll put a question mark uh, channel group number it's a one then we will give the mode as uh, active it's there active and we can see this active okay we'll try with the question mark active enable lacp and conditionally okay we will give that active then we will give an no shutdown command okay we will end and we will give a show a third channel summary okay the channel summary okay still it shows a pagp but no worry uh, we will uh, check after some time what we will do just we will go to this uh, yes one oh uh, it's a number color just we'll give fast forward okay right now i think we have to verify on both the switches s1 we'll go to s1 uh, we'll give a show uh, it's a, a third channel summary group one port channel lacp ports pp yeah it's right we'll go to s3 cli so once more we'll give, give that a show command show a third channel summary um okay still a pagp no worry now we will let check with this support channel 2 here we can see port channel 2 uh, in switch s2 group 2 uh, then we can see the ports g0 slash 1 and g0 slash 2 in s2 then in s4 uh, here, here we can see group 2 uh, ports g0 slash 1 and g0 slash 2 so we will verify this coming to our topology here we can see that port channel 2 what they labeled the link between these uh, uh, switches s2 and s4 okay first of all we'll go to s2 enable show the third channel summary and uh, here we can see uh, group 2 port channel 2 lacp okay g0 slash 1 g0 slash 2 and we can see it's a p p means uh, it's a in port channel okay now we will go to s4 and we will verify enable show uh, it's a, a third channel summary and uh, here we can see port channel group 2 port channel is uh, 2 lacp g0 slash 1 and g0 slash 2 it's correct there is no error next we will go to port channel 3 uh, here we can see that uh, device s1 we can see group 3 ports fs0 slash 23 and fs0 slash 24 then coming to s2 here we can see group 3 uh, ports fs0 slash 23 and fs0 slash 24 coming to our topology here we can see that port channel they labeled it's here uh, between s1 and s2 that's right port channel 3 and we can see the ports fs0 slash 23 both side and fs0 slash 24 both side 
we will verify this uh, port channel configuration coming to s1 cli okay here already we given this uh, show the third channel summary just press up arrow and we'll verify this uh, port channel group 3 port channel 3 yeah and we can see lacp uh, ports fa0 slash 23 and fa0 slash 24 yeah there is no problem we'll go to s2 cli just press up arrow press enter it's a show command and we can see group 3 port channel 3 lacp fa0 slash 23 and fa0 slash 24 yeah it's right next we will go for uh, port channel 4 so for port channel 4 uh, here we can see a device s3 group 4 and ports fa0 slash 23 sorry um, yeah that's correct fa0 slash 23 and fa0 slash 24 then coming to s4 here we can see group 4 fa0 slash 23 and fa0 slash 24 we can clear it uh, coming to our topology here we can see that a port channel uh, 4 uh, between s3 and s4 and we can see the ports fa0 slash 24 both side fa0 slash 23 both side we will verify it first of all we will go to s3 cli okay just press up arrow and here we can see uh, port channel uh, 4 it's in PAGP and we can see FA0 slash 23 and FA0 slash 24 okay so uh, we will give LACP instead uh, PAGP we will do that configuration here so even just like to go to show running config and we'll go to that interface and we can see they given as a desirable right that means a pagp we have to give as a active okay press ctrl c and then we'll go to these interfaces configure terminal interface as a range uh, fa0 slash 23 dash 24 oh so uh, we'll see some mistake it's range right yes now we will give a no it's a channel group yes no channel group then press enter now we will shut down these uh, ports then we will give uh, channel group channel group is 4 right yeah it's 4 channel group 4 we have to set the modus uh, active okay then we have to give no shutdown command and even here we have to give we have to go to that port we will exit then we have to go to that interface that is a port channel 4 all right then we have to give uh, switch port mode as a trunk we will end then we will give a show the third channel summary so here we can see port channel 4 still this protocol shows PAGP FA0 slash 23 and FA0 slash 24 Okay, we will uh, go and verify in uh, S4 also. Coming to S4. Show the third channel summary. Okay, here we can see many ports they given. See? Port channel 4. LICP, okay, that's fine. But they given FA0 slash 21, 22, and 23. Okay, they given uh, incorrect ports. So we will we will go to these ports and we will remove port channel. So configure terminal. We'll go to interface as a range FA0 slash 21, 22, and 23. So we can give a dash 23. Then we'll give a no. Uh, it's a uh, 
channel group okay we can verify it to do we can give the command to do show uh, channel group summary some mistake somewhere oh it's not uh, it's, uh, it's uh, not channel group confusing with the channel group and a third channel a third channel summary so we can see now here only fa0 slash 24 with this uh, port channel 4 oh that means previously they configured okay actually we have to remove all these hmm, that can be done so what we will do again we'll just press up arrow then we'll give it till 24 is that okay we can give it till 24 and we can remove all the uh, ports press up arrow and we'll give you no channel group okay then press up arrow and just we'll check with the show command do show a third channel summary and we can see no ports are there now with the uh, ether channel 4 so we'll assign that so just we will exit from these uh, sub interfaces we'll go to interface as a range we can give uh, fa0 slash 23-24 uh, okay then we can give channel group for mode active right yes so channel group for mode active I think better we will shut down this interface and we will do that just I will copy this command okay then we will shut down it then we will give that command then we will give no shutdown command okay just we will exit then we will go to that interface that is a port channel 4 and we will give a switch port mod as a trunk okay end then we will verify to show a third channel summary and here we can see port channel 4 LACP fa0 slash 23 and fa0 slash 24 just we will go to s3 and we'll verify it just we'll give fast forward we'll go to s3 and we'll verify it show a third channel summary okay still shows pagp anyways finally we will check that now we will go to uh, channel port channel 5 so coming to our device table here we can see group 5 in s1 and the ports fa0 slash 21 and 22 then uh, coming to s4 uh, here we can see group 5 ports fa0 slash 21 and 22 so uh, it's it will be clear in our topology uh, here we can see s1 uh, just I will check these ports fa0 slash uh, 22 and uh, it's a 21 so we can see on other side it's on s4 for channel 5 we will go to s1 and we will verify those ports go to s1 okay enable en presenter show the third channel summary it's a 21 and 22 here we can see 21 and 22 port group of uh, 5 port channel 5 lacp fa0 slash 21 and fa0 slash 22 it's right we will go to s4 cla press up arrow show a third channel summary and uh, here we can see port channel 5 no ports are given okay so we have to do that so we'll give a configure terminal we will go to those interface as a range 
uh, f a 0 slash 21 22 we will uh, shut down these uh, ports then we will give we will create channel group 5 mode as active then we will give a no shutdown command we can verify it before that exit and then we will go to uh, this uh, interface uh, it's uh, port channel 5 and we will give a switch port uh, mode as a trunk okay then end we will give the command show a third channel sorry third channel summary now we can see uh, group 5 port channel 5 lacp and we can see the ports fa0 slash 21 and fa0 slash 22 coming to the last uh, a third channel that is uh, group 6 right uh, here we can see nest 2 6 fa0 slash 21 and fa0 slash 22 then uh, 6 in s3 fa0 slash 21 and fa0 slash 22 so coming to our topology here we can see that the port channel uh, between s3 uh, and s2 and we can see the ports fa0 slash 21 and fa0 slash 22 21 21 22 22 okay we will go to s2 and we will verify that first we will go to s2 enable show a third channel summary and here we can see group 6 okay port channel 6 okay and we can see protocol is LACP and ports fa0 slash 21 and fa0 slash 22 but we can see it shows i so i means standalone so we have to go to the other side on s3 then we will verify it enable show a third channel summary and here we can see group 6 port channel uh, 6 but the protocol is PAGP for this ports fa0 slash 21 and 22 we can verify that using show running config we'll go to uh, 21 and 22 here we can see 21 and 22 it's a mode is a desirable it should be active right so we given for uh, other ports so it should be desirable so we will configure that Control C we will go to uh, these interfaces configure terminal interface as a range that is fa0 slash 21 and 22 and we will give no channel group right or even we can shut down and we can give that okay no props we'll give shut down now then we can give channel group uh, it's a six right then the mode as active that is LACP then we will give no shutdown we will exit then we will go to the that interface that is uh, port channel 6 and we will give a switch port mode as a trunk okay just to be lent uh, show a third channel group sorry other channel uh, summary And we can see now it shows a PP, but the protocol still shows PAGP. Now, here we can see our completion status shows 100%, right? So, but still, just we'll go through all these switches and we will verify the support channel uh, trunking, okay? Just we'll uh, click on S1. Uh, in S1, we have 1, 3, and 5 enable will give a show interface trunk 
yeah here we can see now for channel 1 3 and 5 it's trunking now we will go to s2 cli here we will give show interface interfaces trunk and we can see group 2 3 6 2 3 and 6 trunking yeah it's right now we'll go to s3 cla give the command show interface as a trunk so 1 4 6 we can see 1 4 6 it's a trunking now we'll go to s4 cla enable show interface as a trunk 245 groups 245 245 we can see it's trunking okay we uh, troubleshooted we identified all the issues and uh, we solved it but in this uh, topology we can see uh, here uh, one uh, link shows in red and uh, just will shut down or i mean we just will uh, copy uh, the content from RAM to NVRAM and we will just restart these devices. Actually, in the configuration part, we done everything. That's why uh, here we get this result. I mean, this completion status 100%. Just will go to S1. Copy. Running config, startup config. Then we will go to S2. Copy running config startup config. We can give in short. Okay. Copy running config startup config. Yes, for copy running config startup config. Right now, we will restart all these devices. Actually, these steps are not mentioned in our. Uh, this uh, packet tracer activity, but it's only for a uh, test purpose. I am doing here, so we'll go to S1 and we'll see whether it will reload or not. Reload, we can give this command, then press enter. So, proceed with the reload, confirm, just press enter. Yeah, it's reloading. Now, we will go to S2 and we'll reload, confirm, then we will go to S3 and we'll reload. Confirm. Then we will go to S4 and we will reload. Confirm. And we will wait a little time to converge this network. And after restart, uh, here we can see we cannot see that uh, red color uh, link. We can see either green or amber because STP works here they will uh, block uh, due to the redundancy okay just we'll go to s3 and we will verify these uh, protocols enable uh, show a third channel summary because it was showing pagp right see now it shows lacp yeah it's working even we can verify another switches we'll go to s1 actually no need to do that but still enable show a third channel summary we can see protocol lacp yeah coming to s2 enable show a third channel summary lacp coming to s4 enable show a third channel summary yeah it's working perfect okay that's all in this activity uh, that is a troubleshoot a third channel now dear friends if you have any doubt any suggestions uh, regarding this uh, packet tracer activity please comment below and you have seen some problems in this uh, s3 uh, when we done that LACP, the protocol uh, still that was showing uh, 
PAGP, right? Even after uh, doing LACP. Uh, but uh, it was ready once we restart our uh, switches. So if you get these uh, uh, type of things, just comment below. And if you like our video, give a thumb and share with all your friends. And also, if you like to contact our team, you can visit our website. Link you will get from the description below. Stay tuned and we will meet again with the next video. Thank you.